Our research and our experts show that each day at the pump, you pay a state and a federal gas tax. And while gas tax holidays are being championed as a way to lower the burden of gasoline costs, experts say the relief would be short term and quite possibly difficult to notice. So let's have them explain why. I don't have to tell you, gas prices are awful. So to find out what can be done, let's verify what are the gas taxes in our area. Our sources are the state and local gas tax numbers from the American Petroleum Institute and two tax economic experts, Chris Edwards from the Cato Institute and Cliff Winston from the Brookings Institute. So first, our experts say gas taxes account for about one eighth of the cost of a gallon of gas. And it's made up of two taxes, the federal. It has been at uh, 18.2 cents um, for quite a long time, since the 90s. And the state or local, which varies by jurisdiction. In D.C., it's 24 cents. In Maryland, it's 36 cents. And in Virginia, it's 26 cents. We've seen politicians propose creating a federal or state gas tax holiday to ease the cost of gasoline, but our experts say it's really not that simple. So gas taxes are only about one-eighth of the overall cost of gasoline these days. So these gas tax suspensions won't make a lot of difference to motorists. Or the natural economics of the gas markets could mean drivers never see the cost break. I think there's the expectation that some of the reduction in the federal gas tax would filter down a bit to consumers, but not all of it, that's for sure. Uh, I think some people have argued that none of it will and that it would just be a windfall for the company. According to our experts, all of these taxes get allocated to each state's highway fund, which in general pays for infrastructure like roads. So if the tax is suspended, our experts say highway funds actually wouldn't lose money because the states would move money from their annual surpluses. However, at the federal level, there may be a loss of revenue since the federal government does not run at a surplus. With Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.